Hi there, it's Nadia from Blue Sky Graphics with another tutorial on motion graphics. Today I want to show you how to animate text with the Trim Path tool. Please feel free to follow along and get creative. Let's get started. I'll begin by creating a new composition. I do this by clicking on New Composition. I have a HDTV 29 frames per second, 10 seconds and I have yellow for my composition background. I then want to add some text by selecting the text tool. I left click on the mouse to start adding my text. I will type blue sky graphics. On the text panel, you can add fill colour or remove. You can add or remove the stroke and you can increase the stroke size. For this example, I don't want any fill and I want a stroke size of 6 pixels. I then want to select my text layer, I right click on the mouse, select create, then, cho then choose create shapes from text. This will create a new layer with the text as shapes so we are able to add our trim path. Then, I want to click on the arrow to open the shape layer options. Click on the add option and from the options I want to select trim path. The trim path has been added. If we click on the arrow to open the trim path options, we see the start. and the end, which we can animate. For this animation, I want to animate the start. I make sure the time indicator is at the start and add 100 value to the start. Then I move the time indicator to one second and add the value to zero. Then I want to smooth my animation. So I select the keyframes Right click on the mouse, keyframe assistance, easy ease. Furthermore, I can select the keyframes, click on the graph editor to smooth my animation even further. I then click on the spacebar on my keyboard to preview it. I want to create an exit animation. So I move the time indicator in time. Select the keyframes, edit, copy, then edit, paste. Then I select keyframes again. I right click on the mouse, keyframe assistance, time reverse keyframes. I am not happy with how the animation looks in between keyframes. So I select the keyframes, head over to the graph and adjust the graph like so. Then I preview it by clicking on the space bar. I am happy with how this looks. I want my animation more to make my animation more interesting. So I select the shape layer Go to edit, duplicate layer, then on the bottom layer I change the stroke colour by clicking the stroke colour on the top menu. Then I want to adjust the, top, adjust the top layer to start a bit later than the bottom layer by slightly moving it in time. And to adjust the exit animation, I need to select both layers by holding the shift key 
and clicking on both layers. Then I click shortcut U to view the keyframes. Then on the bottom layer, I want to move the last two keyframes slightly in time. And there we have it, a text animation using the trim path. This is just one of the many animations you can create using this method. Please feel free to experiment. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.